Welcome to the Got Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello everyone, I'm your teacher for this question. The question says let fx equal to square root of 4 minus x and gx is equal to square root of 3 plus x. Find the functions f plus g, f minus g, fg, which is f times g, and f divide by g, or f over g, okay? And find their domains, okay? So first we can write out these four functions. So f plus g is equal to four, square root of 4 minus x plus square root of 3 plus x. Okay, f minus g is equal to these two subtractions, subtract each other. And f times g, it's a little bit more complicated, is uh, you can, these two can time each other, we have Let's just keep it in, in this form first. Okay, and then we have f over g, and this we should have square root of 4 minus x over 3 plus x. Okay, so now let's find their domains. Find the value of x. Okay, so for the important rule here is that for given square root of a, a can't be, uh, it has to be greater or equal to zero. It cannot be a negative number, okay? That's the only rule we need for this question, okay? And now let's dive into the question. So for, for f plus g, for minus x cannot be equal to zero, so it has to be greater or equal to zero. So x should be smaller than 4. That's the first condition. And then we know 3 plus x should be also greater than 0. And that means x, so it mo minus 3, so x has to be greater than negative 3 right here. So other than these two conditions, there are no more. So for f plus x, the domain is, so domain is uh, from negative, sorry, it should be a parenthesis, not a bracket, parenthesis, negative infinity to negative 3, and from negative 3 to, uh, so negative 3 to, to 4. Right, it cannot be greater than four. It cannot be, uh, so no, it, yeah, it, x has to be smaller than four, but it cannot be negative three. It has to be greater than negative three. So, sorry, this part is not correct. So it has to be greater than uh, negative three and smaller than four. Then x is in the range of negative three and four. Okay, this is the range for f plus x f plus g for f minus g it's very much the same because um, we do not need to care for the negative sign here we just need to remember that f minus g can be any number but um, the square root of something cannot be that number so it's the same same the domain is still negative 3 2 4 does not change and for f g, it's a little bit different. So let's see. So for f times g, we need to know that this has to be greater or equal to zero. That means four minus x has to be greater or equal to zero. So x smaller than four. And this is greater than zero, x greater or equal to three. So we can find that it's still in this range. Okay, so in order for the, 
for what's inside the print or under the square root to be uh, positive, they all have to. They either have to be uh, all negative or they can all either all have to be positive. Okay, so that's the rule here. So and to satisfy that, we get x is still in the range of negative three to four. And for last one, f for f over g, we have, uh, first of all, we have the same range uh, for, so x, so still have f is smaller than 4, x is greater or equal to negative 3, but now we notice that the denominator cannot be 0, so 3 plus x cannot be 0, 3 cannot be negative 3, so this, this equal sign cancel out. So for f over g, domain is a little bit different because it's a parenthesis right here. And then it's 2, 4. Okay, so these are the domains for four functions for f plus g, f minus g, fg, and f over g. Okay, that's all for this. Actually, that's the answers for this question. What we can take away from this question is a very key point. We can find domains and ranges by looking for square roots because uh, the square root has a very strict uh, definition. It can the number inside or under the square root cannot be a negative number. It has to be greater or equal to zero. So that gives us the space to find the domain and range. Okay, that's all for this question. See you in the next video.